हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑर्गेनाइजर एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टार्टेड विद सेकंड टाइप ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट दैट इज कस्टमाइजिंग रिक्वेस्ट एंड बेस्ड अपॉन द रिक्वायरमेंट वी आर क्रिएटिंग ए टेबल ऑफ टू कॉलम्स एंड एज ए पार्ट ऑफ द रिक्वायरमेंट वी क्रिएटेड टू डोमेन्स एंड two data elements and both domain and data elements stored into workbench request now what we will do we will create a table so we will go to sc11 transaction code this is sc11 transaction code i will choose the first radio button and we will go for table creation suppose i will give some name to the table Z T suppose we will say vehicle allows vehicle okay we will go for V allows I will click on to create button I will provide the short description to the table vehicle allows table. we will go for delivery class of the table we will go for f4 help you can see a delivery class is for master and transaction data c delivery class is for customizing table maintenance only by customer yes the customer will maintain that data into the table yes so we will choose this particular c customizing table we will choose that display maintenance allowed yes in the first playlist where of a bab dictionary all these are explained in detail yes you can check from there also as of now we will just create that table we will go for fields we all know the first column in that table is ma and dt that data element for the same is ma and suppose i will firstly click on to save button whenever i will click on to save button it will ask for the package i will store into package now it is asking for workbench request only as table is a workbench object now we will click on to own request button and in the same to same request where we store that domain and data elements we will store that table also now we will go for the column the column is suppose column name is grade i will put that data element for the grade this is the data element which we created this data element has a domain of character 3 we will go for next column suppose vehicle allows v allow suppose we will give z d e v allows character 1 is appearing this data element has a domain of character 1 now we need to take the primary keys in the table so we will take m and d t and grade as the primary key of the table i will click on to technical settings if you want a detailed explanation why we are going for all these steps you can refer the playlist of a bab dictionary because our target is to understand the transport request so we will simply simply create i will go for f for help of data class suppose i will choose a double p l2 data class for organizing and customizing i will put the suppose size category as 0 i will save i will go to back button and i will activate that table now this table is also the part of my workbench request only if i will show you the workbench request this is the workbench request we have that table yes 
we have the technical attributes of the table. Yes, we maintain the technical attributes of the table by clicking on to technical settings. These are the two domains and two data elements. And everything, everything is the part of your workbench request because these all are workbench objects. Now, we want to maintain the data into the table. So what we will do? Firstly, we will create a table maintenance generator. How to create? Utilities table maintenance generator. Now, I will go to F for help of authorization group and we will choose this authorization group, which will not check for any authorization. And in the playlist of a BAP dictionary, it is clearly, clearly explained. I will use the same to same table name into the function group and we will go for one step. I will click on to find screen number and we will create the table maintenance generator. I will save into package. I will save into package. It is asking for transport request, workbench request, because table maintenance generator is also a workbench thing. Yes, we need to store into workbench request only. So I will click on to own request button. We will choose the subtask. Okay, I will save. So table maintenance generator we generated and it is also the part of your workbench request only. Till up to this level, we stored everything into workbench request, domain, data element, tables. We created the table maintenance generator. Everything we stored into workbench request only. Now, whenever we will maintain that data, that data will be in the customizing request. Now, suppose you all know if you want to maintain that data, you can go to SM30 transaction code. This is our table. I will go for maintain button and I will maintain that data. I will go for new entries. Suppose grade. System engineer, vehicle allowance, no. Assistant system engineer, vehicle allowance, no. Manager, yes. Consultant, yes. Whenever I will click on to the save button, you will get a real understanding why we have done all these things. Whenever I will go for save button, you can see system is prompting for the request. And now the request is what? Customizing request. It is not a workbench request. It is customizing request. Now you can simply, simply click on to create button. It will navigate you to SC09 or SC10. Or you can create a customizing request directly through SC09 or SC10 also. We'll click on to create button. I will put the short description. So I will give development to vehicle allowance contents, vehicle allowance entries. So by the description itself, anyone can predict that vehicle allowance entries are into this particular request. We'll go for save. We'll just Go for save. System is going for customizing request only. So this data stored into customizing request. If I will show you, you will get more and more clarity. I will just refresh this. You can see we have a request which is the part of customizing. If I will open this request, expand this request, in this, so these are the contents which you put in the table, ASC, consultant, manager, system engineer. This customizing request has only, only the contents, contents. So that workbench request has all the domain, data element, tables, table maintenance generator, whatever things got created, 
all are the part of workbench request but this customizing request has the customized table content table content now now what customer is saying yes i want this whole development into the quality yes once the testing will be done in the quality then we will move this request to the production system it means if you want all that table related thing means domain data element table table maintenance generator you need to move this workbench request to the quality and if you want the contents of the table this contents of the table into with the into the quality system we need to transport this customizing request now we will simply drop a mail to basis person for transport of this workbench request plus transport of this customizing request but he will simply revert us that please please release your transport request so we need to release this workbench request also we need to release this customizing request also and same to same process we will follow we will simply expand we will simply release the sub task first now we will release the main request so our workbench request is released it is a part of released now same way we need to release the customizing request also because the contents are in this customized request we will release the sub task now we will release the main request now you can see our customized request is also the part of released now this is your released workbench request and this is your released customized request so in this video we did the full explanation how the table contents are getting stored into customized request so that's it in this video thank you